Over to Dan Plesak now with the DP25. What do you got, sir? Thanks, Matt. We come up the first of the month. We come up with the DP Top 25. In my opinion, the top 25 starting pitchers in baseball right now. We're going to start with number 10. We're going to go 10 through 6. Bryce Elder, Atlanta Braves. So many reasons why the Braves right now a lot of people think they're the best team in baseball. They're head and shoulders, the best team in the National League. They score runs, but they develop young pitchers. Elder has been terrific. Six and one record, 244 earned run average, strike thrower. He reminds me a lot of Kevin Millwood when he broke in with the Braves. He just has been terrific. Number nine, Marcus Stroman, the Stro Show. Had a little bit of a rough start in London in his last start, but he eats up innings, and he's a throwback to a pitcher not a thrower sinker slider guy very athletic fields his position really well it just jumps out at you nine and five two four seven era there are a lot of teams that may be in on him if he's available at the trade deadline he's been dynamite and he posts up every day what the diamondbacks why are they so good zach gallon strike thrower brent strom their pitching coach has done a marvelous job with their young starting pitchers and they are strike throwers and their throwers and that command different pitches. What I like about this guy, he's not an overpowering guy. He's sneaky fast, 94, 96, good curveball. His changeup has gotten a lot better. He can manage the strike zone, 10 wins on the year. He's been throwing the ball really good. Justin Steele was a brief stint on the IL. He pitched this afternoon. He's had two really good starts coming off the IL. Eight and two record. Look at that ERA, 2.62. He has come such a long way. He has gotten so much better in the last year and a half. He commands the strike zone. He can spin the breaking ball. He's been terrific for the Cubbies. And then a familiar face. Clayton Kershaw, yeah, that guy. I don't know where the Dodgers would be without Kershaw. He's had a marvelous first half of the season. ERA 2.55, even more important than the 10 and 4 record. 95 in the third innings pitched. He's a different pitcher now than he was when he came into the big leagues. He's on the one way track to the Hall of Fame. He's arguably one of the greatest pitchers we've seen in the last 50 years. So that's numbers 10 through 6. Matt, back over to you.